Welcome to Reality Scoop. Please, can you take the time to subscribe to the channel? Hit that notification bell and the like button. It's free for you, but means the world to us. Thank you. Now on with our video. Imagine waking up one morning and finding yourself reduced to the size of a penny. A peculiar reality, isn't it? Picture our protagonist, Jack, as he rubs the sleep from his eyes, only to find his world has been transformed into a landscape of giants. His initial shock gives way to disbelief. This can't be real, can it? But the enormity of his surroundings is undeniable. In his newfound, minuscule state, Jack's voice is no louder than a mouse's squeak, a whisper lost in the vastness of his once familiar home. His roommate, oblivious to Jack's plight, continues his day, unaware of the tiny cry for help. Jack's shouts, his pleas for recognition, fall on deaf ears, swallowed up by the sheer scale of his predicament. As Jack grapples with his new reality, the enormity of his situation begins to sink in. His world is now a perilous jungle, each day a struggle for survival. Trapped in a giant world, survival becomes the tiny man's only goal. Now, picture a world where everyday objects tower over you like skyscrapers, and a simple walk across the room feels like an arduous journey. In this scale-shifting reality, our protagonist finds himself dwarfed by the mundane. The coffee table, once just a piece of furniture, now looms above him like a towering plateau. The carpet transforms into a vast, fuzzy forest, each fibre a tree reaching for the heavens. The gaps between floorboards become yawning chasms, threatening to swallow him whole. Navigating this new environment is a challenge of Herculean proportions. A trip to the kitchen, once a matter of steps, is now a tedious expedition. The dangers are abundant and grotesquely magnified. A dust bunny, once an afterthought, is now a rolling tumbleweed of terror. House pests, once harmless, are now monstrous predators. Spiders, ants, even the common housefly, all pose a threat to our tiny hero. Yet it's not all peril and fear. Our protagonist shows us that necessity truly is the mother of invention. A bottle cap transforms into a makeshift shelter, a haven against the vast world. The tiny droplets of spilled juice become a life-saving source of sustenance, each one a feast in his miniature existence, and a forgotten thread, once useless, is now a lifeline, aiding him in his gruelling treks. In this giant world, the protagonist's perspective shifts dramatically. The most ordinary objects take on extraordinary significance. A forgotten paperclip is a prized tool, a fallen leaf, a makeshift raft. Every mundane item becomes an opportunity for survival. He faces each day with an unwavering spirit, proving that bravery comes in all sizes. Each struggle, each triumph, each moment of terror and relief shapes him into a survivor. In the face of adversity, the tiny man begins to adapt, showing us that size doesn't limit one's resilience. His spirit remains unbroken, his will to survive unquenchable. In this world of giants, he is a testament to the strength of the human spirit no matter how small. Home is where the heart is, or in our tiny man's case, where the old, battered, smelly sneaker is. Welcome to the world of our pint-sized protagonist, where survival is a colossal task and an old sneaker transforms into a sanctuary. Imagine, if you will, a sneaker, an object of such mundane routine in our lives, now becoming a fortress for our shrunken friend. His new home is a mammoth leather cave, filled with laces that seem like jungle vines and insoles that feel like marshmallow mattresses despite a lingering smell. He has to navigate his way around the sneaker, turning it into a place that is both comfortable and safe. Every crevice and cranny is explored, and every potential danger assessed. He shapes the insole to form a bed, the laces become his ropes and pulleys, and the tongue of the sneaker, his safety blanket. It's a miniaturized version of DIY home improvement, with our tiny man showing remarkable ingenuity and resilience in his quest to make the old, battered sneaker a livable space. But then, there's the constant fear, the fear of his friend discovering his new home. Every time the sneaker moves, he trembles. Every time his friend's foot approaches, his heart pounds like a drum in his tiny chest. He has to stay hidden, unnoticed, lest his friend's foot squashes his newfound home and him along with it. But our tiny man is not just surviving, he's living. He's learning to adapt, to adjust, to overcome the challenges his new life throws at him. His world may have shrunk, but his spirit hasn't. He's just a tiny man living in a giant world, making the best of an unexpected situation. 
So in the most unlikely of places, he carves out an existence. An old, battered, smelly sneaker may seem like an odd choice for a home, but when you're one centimetre tall, you take what you can get. It's a testament to the human spirit and its ability to adapt and survive, even in the most extraordinary of circumstances. Living on a shoestring, quite literally, our tiny man carves out an existence in the most unlikely of places. As if life wasn't challenging enough, the tiny man's biggest threat is ironically, his closest ally. In miniature world, the unseen danger lurks in the most unlikely of places. It's not the gigantic spiders nor the looming cats, but the very friend who unknowingly hosts our tiny hero in his old battered smelly sneaker. The moments of near discovery are heart-stopping. Imagine, if you will, the chill that runs down the spine of our tiny man when the sneaker is picked up and inspected. Each time the friend's hand hovers over the sneaker, the tiny man holds his breath, hoping against hope that he goes unnoticed. Until one day, the unimaginable happens. The friend, without any warning, decides to put on the sneaker. In the split second before the foot descends, the tiny man is frozen in terror. His heart pounds in his chest like a drum, the rhythm matching the ticking seconds that stretch into eternity. He tucks himself into the deepest corner, praying to merge with the shadows. The foot descends, crushing him into the worn fabric of the sneaker. His world turns dark, and for a moment all is still. I, your humble narrator, knows this all to be true, as I am that housemate who is wearing the sneakers that my friend is in, and I know I have crushed him under the sole of my foot. He no longer lives, but instead remains a tiny stain in my shoe. I know he cannot survive my weight. I am 300 pounds and standing around 200 centimeters in height. Nothing as tiny as him could survive. I also went out on a run in the shoes earlier and have yet to take them off. I know I have taken an innocent life, but at the time I had no idea. I only hoped that it was a quick and painless for him as I am left with the pain and guilt from my actions. I hope you enjoyed the video. We at Reality Scoop enjoyed making it for you. Please give this video a thumbs up as this really does help us out a lot. Also if you like our content please consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell to be made aware of our next upload. By subscribing to the channel it really does help us out, plus it's free for you to do. Thank you and I hope to see you on the next video. Bye for now.